Recently, I lost five pounds in seven days by eating three simple ingredients, chicken, rice, and broccoli. Now, since then, I've kind of fallen off my diet a bit and it isn't good. Oh, yes, mate. But you guys have been in touch and challenged me to not only do it again, but for 30 days. As always, we start the challenge with my least favorite thing to do now, a weigh-in. And it was pretty clear since losing five pounds on the last challenge, I'd not looked after myself and gained it all back. Weighing in at over 13 stone. After going out food shopping, it was time to say goodbye to some of my favorite foods and prepare enough chicken, rice, and broccoli for three meals a day for the first seven days. Making sure to calculate our portions correctly so we don't put our body in a state of malnourishment. So there we have it, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next seven days until it's time to cook it all over again. Oh God. Now, if the next 30 days wasn't gonna be hard enough, friend of the channel and weightlifting enthusiast Janine had issued me a second challenge as part of my weight loss journey. Not only has she tasked me with walking at least 10,000 steps a day, drinking three liters of water a day, she had made a custom made gym routine that I had to complete three times a week. Despite it only being focused on three days a week, Janine's routine was designed to put me through my paces with a tough and intense workout. Focusing on the classic push-pull leg split routine, but with very, very little rest time between sets. Now, what are push and pull workouts, you ask? More on that later. Much like my first seven day challenge, the week flew by and I started to see some similar patterns with how my body reacted to the diet. Now the first few days, my energy levels plummeted. I struggled to get out of bed, go to the gym or even go to work. But come day four, my energy levels skyrocketed. I felt amazing for the rest of the week. Now with the first seven days behind me, you might be wondering, how was it? Well, it was, it was a bit rubbish. Yeah, it was kind of rubbish. But thank you for all your comments. After taking your advice and adding seasoning and certain sauces, it definitely made things 100% better. Even if I'm still not used to eating broccoli for breakfast. But so far so good, I have stuck to nothing but my pre-made meals. <laughs> if you say so. All right, and the time I forgot my lunch and had to improvise. But instead of going hungry, I bought some bits, I improvised and made it as accurate as possible. But that small hiccup aside, I've resisted any temptations, any cravings, and despite only eating three bland items of food, I feel I'm yet to lose my mind. <laughs> if you say so, mate. So as the first seven days finished and I progressed into week two, things were still going quite well. But as I embarked further on this challenge, I couldn't help wonder, will there be any negative effects? You know, only eating three different foods a day for three meals a day for 30 days, surely something isn't gonna go well. So with that in mind, I decided to reach out to a friend of mine. Now this is friend of the channel Nush, an online training and nutrition coach who once took me from this to this. However, what he had to say got me kind of worried about this challenge. Hey Luke, so chicken, rice and broccoli diet. Right, if you were to follow this for a, a, a period of time, let's say 30 days, there's gonna be definitely some things that you'd wanna con consider. Is it my recommendation to do it? No, but if someone was to do it, they'd wanna make sure that they're consuming, you know, maybe like a multivitamin at the very least, fruits and greens powder alongside it, something alongside it, maybe supplementing with fish oils as well, because none of these things we're gonna be consuming through chicken, rice, and broccoli. So the other thing that's very low on is fat intake. Now fat is gonna be essential for our bodies from a point of view of absorption of nutrients and uh, our hormones. There's lots of properties that become essential from to intaking fat, dietary fats that we need. But the problem that we've got with chicken, rice, and broccoli is none of them are fats. We've got chicken, which is protein, very lean, very low fat, especially if you're gonna be using chicken breast. Um, rice is just a carbohydrate and broccoli obviously very very small in terms of macronutrients and um, carbohydrates if any but majority is going to be very very little so we're not really getting anything for, for, from that in terms of macronutrients we are getting a lot uh, you know benefits from a micronutrient and phytonutrient point of view but uh, hopefully that helps mate and hopefully that gives you a bit of a, a bit of a picture on kind of like my advice and opinions around it now I want to make this challenge as healthy and safe as possible so with Nush's advice in mind I thought it'd be best to maybe tweak the diet slightly but 
Don't worry, I know what you're thinking. I will still be eating that chicken, rice and broccoli every day. But in the evenings, I thought it would be best to add some healthy fats to make sure my body can get everything it needs but can't produce on its own. Such as avocados, olive oil, olives, as well as some Actimil because it's good for my tummy. Okay, I look like an idiot now. As well as this, I'll be stocking up on some D-freeze, omega freeze, multivitamins, just to make sure the body gets everything it needs. So I know sometimes your diet can affect your skin, but I seem to have made a new friend. Like, like what is that? That is massive. Whoa. God, I hope this doesn't happen everywhere else. Oof. <laughs> So well done, you're halfway into your challenge. So you've been eating chicken, rice, and broccoli, and you've been attempting to lose weight while doing so. How do you think it's going? Yeah, it's going okay. Uh, no complaints, really. Right, okay. So any tiredness or fatigue? Any pain? Uh... No, no, nothing like that. It's, uh, it's, it's been pretty easy so far. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Other than that, any cravings? Well, besides eating chicken rice with 100 grams of regret every day, I'm craving food a lot. All I want is <laughs> junk food. And now you mention it, it's really getting to me. It's really starting to make me lose my mind. So what are push and pull workouts? So push, you train all the upper body pushing muscles such as chest, shoulders, and triceps. And in pull, you train all the upper body pulling muscles such as biceps and back. So today is a pull day for the gym and we're gonna try and find out what our personal best is in deadlifting. So I've bought myself one of these fantastic belts, as you can see, very flattering. Ooh, ah, e. So let's go lift some heavy things and um, hopefully not hurt ourselves. So I've just watched back the deadlifting footage as you guys have just seen. And honestly, I am kicking myself. Not because I feel like I could have done heavier, but because the past 25, 26 days or so, the toughest part of this challenge has been the gym. It's getting weird because I'm just starting to feel weak. I can't go as heavy as I could. I can't lift the same amount of reps as I could. Every set feels like I've pushed a failure when realistically some of them I've just started and it's really starting to mess with me a little bit. Now with the finish line in sight, I don't want to give up now. I am so close, but I will be grateful when it has finished. So the final few days came and went, and it was finally time to end this challenge. And more importantly, see my results. And if I'm honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. Now don't get me wrong, I feel leaner, I feel in better shape, I did even lose weight. But I actually found I lost more weight doing this for seven days than I did for 30. And that's just mind boggling to me. 
Now this could be down to all sorts of things from lack of sleep, water weight, even the change of diet halfway through. And it's not that I'm not happy, I just kind of feel I've let myself down in a weird way. But if this challenge has done anything, it's given me that kick up the ass I needed and just motivated me again. I know a lot of people struggle with this, but once you fall off a diet, it is so hard to get back on again. But it's only myself that I can hold accountable. But making this video has just got me back in gear and proven to myself that I can do it. I can lose weight. I can get in better shape. Now, progress isn't always linear. There's going to be disappointment. There's going to be setbacks. There's going to be dips in the road. But now it's time for the climb and I'm looking forward to the future. Now, I don't know what's next or how quick things will be, but it's time to embrace the journey, embrace the small victories and just keep going. I've told myself over and over and over again, I will hit my weight loss goal. So hit subscribe, leave me a motivational comment and join me on my weight loss journey. Cheers.